Brianna Pinto with us and Daily Rout after her victory over Gotham. Brianna, you joined us in our pregame press conference. You said you were really excited to get that first goal, and lo and behold, here you are in the postgame press conference talking about it. So we'll start there. I was going to take us through that goal and what it meant to this team right before the half. Yeah, I think that was a really good team goal just because like it was super compact in the midfield, and especially in the first half. Gotham was making it really challenging, but um, I think it was Ryan that played the ball in behind and gave us a little bit of a stretch, and Bianca made a perfect run, and um, she was the one that served it to uh, Ashley. And I think um, our timing in the box has improved um, this week, like making the near post run, and then Ashley was in the slot, and she headed it down and across the frame, and it's just my job to frame the goal and redirect it. So um, I think that's from back to front. It it was just a full team performance. And Philly talked about the physicality of this match. It seemed like every 50-50 ball was right there to the grind and, and it grind out that win at the end. Just talking about the physicality of this match got on a really good side. Yeah, I definitely agree to P what she said before and because I feel like it was so close and so intense. Um, everyone was giving like a hundred percent and the energy was like up here and I don't know, I just felt like a very good energy from the team and even the girls that came on or were on the bench just like had a very, very deep connection to the girls today and it was actually was so much fun going out there, but it was very physically. We talked to you before the season. This is really the first chance the media's had to talk to you to get a few games under your belt. What's it been like playing with this team and mixing into that back line? Yeah, well, everyone was saying like the league is so close and I would definitely agree. Like every game, you don't know how it's going to be like, even like watching the games in the league, but I don't know, I just feel like really getting to know the girls on the pitch as well. Um, I mean, it's been so much learning for me, but also I want to give some something back to the girls as well. And I don't know, it just feels very good to be here and I'm very happy to be here. Start with questions, Alicia. Yeah, for both of you, um, had a good crowd again tonight. Can you guys talk about the, the crowd and, and if, if they lifted you, how so um, here at home? It's always a gift to play at home. Um, for me, in front of family and friends, uh, but for our team, just like having the energy from the crowd, I think it wills us in through the second half, and I think that's when the courage hits our second gear, and um, that's something we pride ourselves on. We want to make sure we outwork the, the other team from the first whistle to the end, and um, I think the crowd plays a big role in that, and we're just really proud of just the growth from last year to this year, and um, we just ask that everyone continue to come out here and support us because um, it means the world to be able to play on this stage in front of them. Nothing to add on. It's, it's, be it's beautiful to <laughs> it's play at team. home. It's, I love it. So everyone is very positive around the stadium. It's like pushing the team forward. So it's like basically having a 12th player. Um, so it's very fun. Let's keep it going. Anything else? Um, probably more of a question for you, Brianna. Um, what does Yeah, we have a lot of girls that aren't able to play right now and um, you know there are why we, we want to give everything that we have because you can't take any moment for granted um, it's a gift and a blessing to be able to play every day and uh, just to see Caroline being honored was a really special moment and we're proud just that she's on our team because she's someone who embodies what it means to be a part of the courage she works her butt off every single day she plays with heart and passion and grit and uh, we just can't wait till she's back on the field um, kind of hard for the team to really establish a flow in the game that it seems like no back and forth. Um, what is that like when you're out there on the field? Is the team trying to like string some passes and get a flow going? Yeah, I think you have to take uh, the game uh, as it comes. Like there are ebbs and flows, but I think part of the professionalism is knowing how to manage that. And I think we've got a lot of great leaders on every line that um, kind of helps us manage our emotions. We are trying to be first to 50-50 balls because that makes it a lot easier to establish a tempo. And then we have um, we have creative players all over the field who are able to solve pressure. And I think that alone helps us really establish a rhythm from uh, the first half to the second half. Um, it seems like some really good team defense out there as well. You have Lauren and Michi. Um, how has it been for you guys kind of slotting in with this the new defense? I mean, like, I feel like the defense starts up front. Like, our pressing, I feel like we're so compact, which makes it very easy for us in the back line, too, to defend actually the balls and stuff. So this team really sticks together. Of course, there's always things to improve, but I feel like we're just there for each other, and this is what makes the game kind of. Anything from Steph? Yep, go ahead, Steph. Yeah, Brian, there's a question for Brianna. Um, last week, Sean talked about how sometimes you don't really have to need quote unquote the full fit until yet, but maybe you're getting close and then how you know, he really uh, wanted to move you high on the line to coach the goal because he appreciated your ability in that area of West Lake Bowl tonight. But I'm just wondering, you know, after the full game of the year, how you feel this season? Yeah, 
Yeah, I think um, just being in a new role is obviously a learning moment, um, but I love playing the nine just because I'm close to goal. And, um, you know, there's nothing more special than getting to score. But again, that goal tonight doesn't come without the effort from the rest of my team. And um, I think for me heading into the season, I want to grow every single game. I want to impact. Um, and then I want to support my team with my energy. I want to be a, a leader on the field. And I um, just want to support uh, with the way that I work off the ball and defensively and how I press. So, um, I, again, it, I think it's just all about growth, um, taking it one game at a time because every team's going to present a different challenge. And um, ultimately, it's about having fun. So um, I'm really playing with joy. All right, great. That's all the questions. Thank you both. Congrats awesome. The win. Thank, Thank you. you so much.